Hello. I'm here with Jeannie and we are at Red Moon Herbs. And um, so Jeannie, what, tell us about the event that has been going on today. Yeah, yeah. So we are just one of the stations of AppalachianHerbCollective.com. So it's a newly formed thing over the course of the last few weeks after the storm Helene hit Appalachia and Western North Carolina. And we've got folks in various parts of Buncombe County, Madison County, Yancey, and into Irwin, Tennessee area who are collaborating. And we want to expand out. We feel very hopeful this could become a free clinic that folks could come and get the service that they need That's for awesome. anxiety, the stress, adapting to stress, um, keeping well over the winter months and just energy or whatever. That's awesome. Is it gonna be like more like a mobile clinic I'm assuming? Yeah, or a, like a mobile a port, or, or a, a pop -ups, pop ups here and there. Yes, uh -huh. as 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 winter comes on, we might be able to collaborate with communities and churches. The, here we are, are an old United Methodist Church, and we popped up today and we made fire cider and we have um, some herbal extract pours and we made a herbal tea based on donations from folks. Uh, when we met at the French Broad Food Co-op a couple of weeks ago. We were in the upstairs resource room. We did the same. We had some pours and we actually had folks, uh, Dr. Monique Mazza from Black Mountain. We had Maria Muscarella, Lupo Passero, mm. Melissa Fryer, uh, Sam Taylor, AHG was represented and different people were asking, well, you know, what's going on with you? Just taking two to five minutes. Uh, here today we have Renee with Four Elements and Kat. And, and yeah, and her her book. Her book. Her yes. Book. Oh yeah. Her book. Her book. Yeah. Yes. yes. You that said. was great. She, yes. She yes. brought her book in. Uh, energetic herbalism, and um, she said she is interested in being on the podcast. So we're we're hopeful. And yeah. It's really cool. A guide to sacred plant traditions, integrating elements of vitalism, Ayurveda, and Chinese medicine. Forward by Rosemary Gladstone. Woohoo! So yeah, um, we're very lucky. She went to the Fairview event this morning at Elderflower Elderflower okay. Community Center, who is uh, helps those um, you know of a certain age range, and their place is a beautiful little yellow rondette, and the the water came up and destroyed the entire basement or flooded it. They're on a creek, but the creek became a river. Mm -hmm. And so they're doing a beautification thing today and Red Moon has a tent out there from 11 to three with some of the same donations from, you know, across the country. Banyan Botanicals, Gaia Herbs, Woodland Essences. We got a lot of wonderful, um, I can't name them all. We're gonna thank them <laughs> yes, on thank Appalachian <laughs> Herb Collective later. But there's so many great donations. But we, I'm a maker, I'm a forager, I'm a gardener. So that is going to be what Red Moon wants to give to our community. And no, uh, we didn't say it. on. We didn't say it, but Jeannie uh, owns and runs, <laughs> and runs Red Moon Herbs. Um, and, um, you know, you should check them out as well because they're an awesome herb company and everything else. We love our weeds. We, we love, love, love what the weeds. others consider <laughs> an invasive or a pest we like to eat those so yes yes um so is there anything you want to add um for um uh this is a very local movement yeah, so if you're in like the Asheville area um there's been pop-ups all all over the place um we'd love to have more volunteers yes you know okay. that help pour at the events that have pouring or even just stocking the shelf and being an assistant or making a tea. Uh, some pop-ups because it might be outdoors and it's weather dependent, you know, we need to take all our gear that we're gonna mm -hmm. use. Um, we've got Corey Pine Shane over in Barnardsville, Lupo Passero with Twin Star is kind of a floater. Melissa Fryer is taking some of the donations at French Broad Food Co-op. And then what happens is 
volunteers go and uh, divide up into eight or nine or ten uh, boxes, and then those get dispersed out. The Nanostead, Mad Madison County folks, they have an herbal wellness tent, and then they're also giving to Hot Springs. Uh, Mars Landing in Mars Hill is Lori Collins Jenkins and Sister Mother Earth. Uh, and Janelle King with Twin Flower Botanicals, and the two of them are running that station. And that's more of a come, and you're going to go and take some goods, and you're going to give that to your community, or you're a doula or midwife. Mm -hmm. Same thing, Burnsville, Sam Taylor with Fire Tree Organics, wanting to get out into the community, and if someone needs to come, he's got a little bit of medical equipment, I believe, so... Some of the doulas and midwives may go to him for certain things that we don't have. So each each sort of pop up has different, um, you know, sort of different practitioners in it right now. Sort of maybe mm -hmm. a slightly different focus. Yeah, the Mars Landing is more maker. We we kind of want to be the maker as well on the west side, but mm -hmm. also a just um, however we can help. If yeah. somebody wants to replenish the forest with trees. That's a really important thing to us, like saplings, seed saving, woodland medicinals that are native, you know, re replenishing some of those things. Uh, there's so much tree loss here Yeah. that um, I keep hearing different statistics. 40%, 60% in Buncombe County alone. I'm not sure. Either down trees or injured trees. I'm not sure, but... We definitely want to consider some stuff in the spring, too, that would okay. be plant swaps and seed swaps. So the first couple we had here was it was a combination of plant swap, seed swap, and pouring. So just a lot of stuff going on. Thank you so much, Jeannie. I know it's been a big day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we had a soap making with yeah, Deborah so Maslowski this morning. Soap making this morning. <laughs> Yeah, so we got into the lye and the oil. It was oh, really good. It looked so. like there was a party when I walked in. Mm -hmm. No joke. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were running behind there. But yeah, um, we'll just, if anybody wants to teach a class and give part of their donations to the cause of Appalachian Herb Collective, I'm happy to be a free place to host it here awesome. in Candler. Awesome. So. so I'll put all that information um in the description if you guys are interested in checking checking out the Appalachian Herb Collective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The AHC. AHC yeah. that's great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the the birth of a new entity. Yeah. Who yeah. knows where it will go. I don't but know. I'm excited because we, we do we do accept donations. Yes. Uh product, uh empty bottles, clean new or like new as well as funds and you can check it out yep and we're an area that previously did not have this so I and mean, we have a lot of herbalists so it just made i guess it makes sense that it was only a matter of time i hope <laughs> i hope it's going to be for the long haul i yeah, really feel like it will me yeah. too mm -hmm. all right well thank you so much thank you jennifer <laughs> okay. appreciate you taking a moment you too yeah